Welcome back. This is part three. You made it. Hopefully those breathing exercises were helpful and have given you a way to transform some of your energy and feel better now. Okay, we're back for video number three and how we can feel better now with a sacred painting practice. And getting started at the canvas is the easiest part of all. So that's what I hope to share with you today. I actually found this canvas in a walk the other day. Somebody had laid it out and said free. It, it has another painting underneath of it. And I just painted over it. I just put some matte paint over it. That's what I'm painting on. I just want to let you know, you don't have to uh, spend a lot of money on expensive canvas or anything. If you have a, a canvas laying around in the house that you don't care for anymore, it doesn't matter what you paint on. It just matters that you paint. You can just keep painting on a canvas over and over and over again. And with a sacred painting practice, it's not about the product. It's about the process. When we use a painting practice, we're just practicing. <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to say. We're practicing. This is meditation at the canvas, or it can be a meditation at the canvas. That's how I use it. And I love it because it gives my mind something to think about or keep it busy. And then I'm doing something with my hands and I'm being present. And really that's what, um, for me, that's what meditation is. It's, it's becoming present in this moment to my body and to my surroundings and to what's going on inside of me. The more that we become aware of what's going on inside of us, the better able we are to meet our own needs. All you need for today is uh, one color paint, whatever your favorite color is. I, I happened to grab blue and I had laid out orange and this is one of my favorite colors pink you can choose any color that you want today you only need one and actually i just got this one in the mail i'm going to use this one orange and it's you don't have to get expensive paints these kind of paints that i have right here are like a dollar each and i found a whole bunch of these at a garage sale one day it's easy to find paint any anything will work it's completely up to you you're going to figure out your own way and what you like and what you don't like. I just wanna get you started and get you thinking about what a canvas can do for you and how it can become a portal to your inner world. So I invite you right now just to, to do what I'm doing, which is to touch your canvas. If you haven't unwrapped it, unwrap it and feel it and listen to the noises you can make with it. <laughs> oh, my cat would love this. And just explore this. What is this? It looks solid right now. But when you paint on it, you start to become one with the canvas. And it starts acting like a mirror. And it allows you to see what's going on inside of you. As you make marks on it, you can hear yourself with your dialogue, if you pay attention to the way that you're speaking to yourself, it can act like a coach. <laughs> this is like your own personal coach and it's you, it's all you. But we have a, a few parts to ourselves, right? We have our, our uh, left brain, dominant, logical, linear side of our brain that is just caught up in getting everything done now, getting it done right and getting it done fast because we don't wanna waste our time or our energy or our resources. And then there's the right side of our brain that loves to play and have fun and explore and create. And that's what we want to tap into. We want to tap into the right side of our brain for just a little while to actually balance out the two sides of our brain. We need them both. They're both valuable, but it's so much more wonderful when your left brain is supporting your right brain dreams rather than your left brain holding you back from your right brain dreams. So get a little paint on your palette. And for a palette, I just use an old lid. So I'm going to put about a dime. You don't need much of this paint. It's 
thick. You'll figure out how much you need to. And then grab a brush, any brush. I got a pretty big canvas, so I'm going to grab a big brush. The easiest way to start, I found, is to just paint your name, sign your name, because you're the artist of your life. We're all the artists of our life, and we're all creating our lives at every moment. And this is me. I'm Lily. <laughs> and as you paint your name, and I want you to do it again, <laughs> listen to the sounds that the paint is making on the canvas. Smell the paint. Look at that vibrant gorgeousness. Did you ever do this when you were younger? Pretend like you were a movie star and sign your name? Well, I'm here to tell you, you are the movie star. You're the star of your own drama. It's a good thing to do to paint your name. You can turn your canvas every which way you want. And you can keep playing around with your name. <laughs> and guess what the canvas isn't blank anymore and it can take anything you want to give it when I use the canvas as a meditation canvas I often turn it this way and that um, just because now you can see how we've created some shapes here and it's like which shape do I like the best I wanted to play with a different color. <laughs> I'm going to choose pink and put the same amount of paint on the palette like I did last time, not too much, and play with the shape that I liked the best that I created, which is this shape. I invite you to look at your painting and see if you found a shape that you liked, I'm inviting you to explore that shape and just feel into what you're doing at this moment and see how it feels to you. Notice your breathing. And as you put paint on the canvas, just think about all the ways that you can treat yourself better. How can I treat myself better so that I have more to give to others? How can I treat myself better because I deserve it? How can I treat myself better? Because if I don't treat myself good, who's going to treat me well? we can continue making circles. This is going to be your canvas. This is going to be your opportunity, your portal, your practice to do whatever you want here. If you felt like writing words, writing affirmations, you can do that too. That's a very powerful way to use this, this as a meditation canvas. Actually, let's write something like I... Okay, how do I want to I am I am you are we are and we're together here's proof <laughs> This is proof. I am. And just doing this, this little simple act of painting, getting my energy here on the canvas. I love it. I love it already. 
and I'm not painting because I'm going to sell this painting. I'm painting because I can and I have the freedom of expression. Yes, it's allowing me to have a voice that I talked about in the beginning when I was unable to express myself. Now I can express myself. And I start out every painting in this way. You don't have to paint for any particular purpose or, or product. Just paint to be free because you can. Paint because it allows you to express who you are. And in this safe container of this canvas, in your space, you can be whoever you want to be. And you can explore all the corners of your imagination. And you can practice the feelings of freedom and practice speaking your voice, if not out loud, then on the canvas. The more you practice, the easier it will get, I promise you, because I used to not be able to speak at all. And now I'm speaking and I'm speaking on camera. It's a wonderful feeling of being alive, feeling in control, feeling able to handle whatever I need to handle. I try to paint in the morning first thing, and I usually only take five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. If you have 30 minutes, that is a wonderful. Take however long you can take and just explore and dream and do and be. If you want to join me again, I'll be covering up this canvas some more and we'll be working with some more sacred symbols. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you remember to breathe and take a breath first so that you can give from your overflow. The more we can be present right now in this moment, the easier that life is. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I also do quantum healing hypnosis technique. I do personal coaching, and I also help people get started with a sacred painting practice. You can find me at my site, heartevolutions.com, and my Facebook group, Powerful Joy. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Until we meet again, go forth and blossom, lovelies. Mwah. I try to paint in the morning first thing, and I usually only take five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. If you have 30 minutes, that is a wonderful. Take however long you can take and just explore and dream and do and be.